So I wanted to take a few minutes with this video to talk about four interesting PlayStation 5 stories. And if you could hit that like button on the video, thank you to those that do it. And as always, it's very much appreciated. Now, the stories I wanted to dive into today includes a potential new Spider-Man 2 update from the developer in regards to a new dialogue system, new facial tech, a big PlayStation Plus spike, the future of Ghost of Tsushima, and Haven Studios' PlayStation 5 exclusive Ghostfold production. First, what tier of PlayStation Plus are you subscribed to? Essential, Premium, Extra? I'm currently subscribed to Premium and locked to that for a while as I got the discount for having multiple years of PlayStation Now earlier last year but that's just me what about you guys so comment below what tier of playstation plus are you subscribed to essential extra or premium let me know down in the comments below now diving into the first story of the video haven studios title goes full production website mclean's recently did a bit of a dive into haven studios jade raymond uh, a quick refresher on haven studios they were founded in 2021 as an independent studio they partnered with sony on a new multiplayer title before later being bought out jade raymond the founder of haven studios has been a big part of the industry uh, they were a big part of ubisoft's history with being a part of the creation of assassin's creed uh, being the founder of ubisoft Toronto and EA's uh, Motive Studio. She was also the founder there, and they just released a Dead Space remake earlier this year. So she's had a big history in the gaming industry. This new title, we don't have much information on it, but apparently it's moved over to full production, according to website McLean's, who said this in their article uh, with a focus on Jade Raymond. Reading from website McLean's, as of this past February, the company had grown to a staff of 130. That headcount now includes former aerospace space engineers, experts in simulation environments, and machine learning whizzes busy working on customizable 3D avatars for players. Among Haven's high-profile hires are Corey May and Raphael Lacoste, who helped create the Assassin's Creed franchise with Raymond and the team. Haven's staffers are hard at work in the coming months. They'll be moving from pre-production to proper production on the still-definitely-super-secret multiplayer Sony title. Raymond, whose startup has officially graduated from itty-bitty indie to full-blown expansion to borrow a phrase continues to bolster Mon montreal's gaming scene often inviting small, uh, smaller local developers to haven's hq for instructive tech talks so i'm not sure if they had talks directly mclean's had talks directly with haven studios or not but if that information is accurate then it's looking like it could be a few years before we see this game uh, but it's uh, its development is seemingly progressing, so that's good. I will say this is a multiplayer title, a multiplayer focused title, so it doesn't necessarily need to be complete day one, similar to factions. So we could see it sooner than later, but we'll have to wait and see on that. Now, diving into the second story of the video, the big PlayStation Plus spike. Reading from True Trophies, Battlefield 2042 saw over 500% more PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4 players in its first week on PlayStation Plus, which might explain why PlayStation Plus gets so many live service duds. Battlefield 2042 trophies have seen an absolute surge of interest after the game's PlayStation Plus debut took it from being the 31st most popular PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 game in our PlayStation chart last week to being the 5th most popular. Using gameplay data from over 3 million active PlayStation accounts, we can see that Battlefield 2042 gained 578% more players after coming to PlayStation Plus and became more popular than Grand Theft Auto five so the last time i played battlefield 2042 was during its beta i was excited to see uh what battlefield does uh, this time around it was a while since the previous battlefield battlefield 5 and i wanted more high level shooters in the game besides just call of duty people need to remember at one point it was Battlefield, Call of Duty, Medal of Honor, then it became just Battlefield and Call of Duty, then just Call of Duty kind of took over the scene. I'm going to download Battlefield 2042 again. I've heard it's improved a good deal since launch, and I'm hoping that's the case. Just something different than Call of Duty. But you guys let me know if you're jumping into Battlefield 2042 or not. Let me know down in the comments below. Now, diving into the third story of the video, The Future of Ghost of Tsushima, reading from website MovieWeb, currently in development is the Ghost of Tsushima movie directed by Chad Stahelski, who is best known for his work on the John Wick series. Stahelski recently spoke about his work on the film in an interview with the Post Credit Podcast. During the interview, he discussed how the recent success of The Last of Us adaption has helped to change the perception of video game adaptions. Stahelski also noted that he is currently working on two films, one of them being 
being Ghost of Tsushima and the other one being Rainbow Six with Michael B. Jordan. Stahelski also recently gave some insights into the film's current status. He mentioned having a great script a, a, and a creative team but emphasized the importance of finalizing the business end of things to ensure a successful outcome. The director explained that the project involves multiple moving parts including getting the right cast and he is looking forward to making the best of it. So it's great to hear that the movie is progressing but the part I want to focus on is the current status of the film where he specifically mentions the business side and multiple moving parts. I honestly feel that one of those parts is the release of Ghost of Tsushima 2. I think Sony wants to get these two aligned and released uh, close to each other like they did with of course the Uncharted collection and the Uncharted movie uh, Last of Us remake and not long after that we got the Last of Us TV show and what they plan to do with this upcoming uh, Twisted Metal TV show with Peacock they're definitely uh, trying to release a Twisted Metal uh, I think free to play multiplayer title alongside that uh, in that same time frame. Ghost of Tsushima released almost three years ago come this summer so a sequel has to be a good ways in development at this point I would assume I just wonder when we'll first see it. And now diving into the final story of the video potential Spider-Man 2 new update from the developer reading from PlayStation Lifestyle Insomniac Games has teased very cool dialogue technology in its next game Marvel Marvel's Spider-Man 2 for a PlayStation 5. According to lead engine programmer uh, Elan Ruskin, the tech will make its debut in the upcoming game, leaving fans to guess what that could entail. Uh, Ruskin teased the new tech during a live stream on Insomniac's Twitch channel via Twisted Voxel, focused on careers in programming. Fans have been speculating that Spider-Man 2 might feature RPG-like dialogue options or have more interactive, realistic conversations with NPCs. The new tech may also feature more realistic lip movements and facial expressions during dialogue so I personally don't think it'll be like a dialogue system with multiple conversations and branching paths I think this is an improvement in animation probably one of the things that spider-man uh, PlayStation 4 got so well was the animations and how it made you feel as a story played out uh, the animation King currently for me right now is horizon forbidden West but I wonder if insomniac games is attempting uh, to top what guerrilla games did horizon had amazing animation Animation, even with NPC conversations inside stories so it could be something like that the alternative in my head is that it could be dynamic dialogue where NPCs and side characters could react to what you're doing in a smart way like some sort of smart dialogue system so depending on what you're doing they have some way of connecting sentences and stuff like that uh, so they have a smart reaction to what you're doing and almost feel like they know like they're more realistic more lifelike which is an improvement I've been wanting for uh, next generation titles we keep getting improvements in uh, visuals and you know FPS and performance but AI is a pretty big part of games that should improve as well. It's something like this. I'm just guessing maybe a dynamic dialogue system where NPC characters can react more smartly. Smartly, is that a word? <laughs> um could uh, be what they're trying to do here. My understanding here is that uh, Ruskin also just says next game in the uh, actual stream. He doesn't mention Spider-Man 2 or Wolverine, but I'd assume uh, it'll be coming for both. But you guys let me know if you think this is for animation or some sort of smart dialogue system or something else. Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. As it always helps and subscribe if you're new. I've got new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And now I'll check you guys out on the next one. And welcome back to the after show. This is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below. If you're old, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. For today's thing, what I want you guys to do is the body, obliterate, destroy, and overall harass the comments section with bring on a new trailer. Hopefully, we do get a new trailer for Spider-Man 2 in the coming months, obviously, because this game releases later this year. So if you're excited for the potential new Spider-Man 2 trailer, destroy the comments section with bring on a new trailer. And I'll definitely heart those comments like I always do because I appreciate everybody who stays at the end of my videos. And now, I'll check you guys out on the next one.